Hey guys, what's up? Jake here. In today's video, I want to talk to you about managing your YouTube subscriptions. Uh, if you're like me, you potentially have over a hundred channels that you're subscribed to and finding a specific creator or a specific video that you want to watch is very difficult because YouTube doesn't really give you any way to organize it. Now, if you were on this platform five or six years ago, you might remember that YouTube used to allow you to categorize and manage your subscriptions in the browser. Uh, they removed this feature in 2015, and you might be asking, why did they do that? That seems very anti-user friendly. The reason why is because YouTube years ago figured it out that people who only follow uh, a select number of channels don't spend as much time on the website as people who are constantly finding new creators, new videos, new channels to subscribe to. So YouTube doesn't make it easy for you to follow the channels you want to follow, and they want you instead to constantly be finding new content so you spend more time on their platform. Uh, but don't worry, it's still possible to categorize and manage your YouTube subscriptions. You just have to be using the Google Chrome browser and then download a Google, Pro Google Chrome uh, extension for your browser. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up today. It's not that hard. Okay guys, uh, what we're looking at now is my uh, YouTube page and if you come over here you'll see my subscriptions and let's see here yeah show 83 more so I'm subscribed to about a hundred channels and when you come up here and just click on subscriptions uh, this is all that it gives you you know manage it can either be tile or it can be you know a list it doesn't really give you any way to manage your subscriptions or how you see your channels anymore so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, Google Chrome Web App Store and type in YouTube Subscription Collection Manager. I've already typed it in and searched. Uh, this is the app. You'll see that it's got nearly a five-star rating, uh, rating with 2,000 reviews, so that's pretty good. And all you have to do is click on Add to Chrome. Uh, it can read and change your data on all youtube.com sites. Don't worry about this. This is, uh, this is perfectly normal. Just click add extension. Okay. Thank you for the install. And here's like a, a video how to use it. I previously had it and I had to uninstall it so I could make this video for you. So we're gonna reset it up uh, right now. And if you see this little icon up here, that means that it's, it's working and it's installed. All you have to do is hit refresh. Gonna refresh the page and there you go. Uh, subscription groups. So first you can start by making a group name and I'm gonna create a category called learning. Create that. Now, I can go to my channels down here and for example Veritasium I can click on that and there's this little flag icon and the flag icon will then drop down to show you all your categories for groups you've made so if I click on learning it's now been added to the learning category we can make another one here and I can put it as maybe pop culture add that and then a channel like Wisecrack, which I really enjoy. I can add it to pop culture. You can also click directly on subscription groups and then everything you have over here uh, shows up. And it's, let's create a new group and call it uh, photography. Create a new group. Okay. And you can just click and drag into the categories. PBS Eons, mm, Pop Culture, Screen Junkies, Pop Culture, SciShow Learning, uh, Saturday Night Live, Pop Culture, Polymatter, Learning, CGP Grey, Learning, yeah, even on the right, it's not even not even alphabetical, so it's still hard to find stuff. But once you go through everything and get it over here, you then uh, you then 
can hit refresh. You always have to hit refresh for it to like register it. And there you go. You click on it and it shows you the channels that are currently under that category. For example, learning and then pop culture, photography. If you want to change the icons, uh, maybe go back to here and then click here. Yeah, you can change the icon. So for learning, hmm, let's do kind of like uh, an, uh, a light bulb. For pop culture, we can do kind of like a maybe a 3D glasses for like a movie theater. And yeah, just make sure whenever you subscribe to a new channel or you create a new uh, subcategory, you just hit refresh. And then everything will show up like normal. It's pretty cool. And this is how you can organize your subscriptions so you can more easily find the content that you want to find when you want to find it. There you go. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more, check out my channel. Uh, also, consider giving this video a thumbs up. It definitely helps other people find it. And uh, if I miss something or you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Take care.